great lunch at the Waratah Servo. Great people. If anywhere in this area, make sure you drop in, say good day, fill up, get some petrol. Here on a C132, Crater Mountain, otherwise known as the Link Road. This is a spectacular piece of road. I was growing up, this piece of road wasn't actually here. There's a few dirt tracks and four-wheel drive tracks, but realistically if you wanted to go to the west coast, you had to come through Burnie, regardless of where you live. Now, this road here connects the west coast to the tourist mecca that is Greater Mountain spectacularly high quality piece of road, beautiful scenery, it's an epic journey and anyone motorcycling in this part of the world should come through this area and that's realistically why I'm bringing fat, fat, fat cruiser through here I don't like it in there actually goes to the Hellier Gold Mine and like a lot of areas in western Tasmania it's mineral rich and the Hellier Gold Mine's actually just reopened there's the entrance there So this area is a mosaic of different habitats. You've got temperate rainforest, mixed forest, eucalypt forest, like a wet sclerophyll eucalypt forest, and then you've got button grass and pile grass. So because of that complexity of different habitats, you get a lot of wildlife through this area. And the area is rich in prey animals like paddy melons and brushed up possums and Bennett's wallabies and therefore it's actually quite rich in predators and as part of my job I study the population of Tasmania devils, eastern quolls and spotted tail quolls as well as feral animals in this area. So we're looking at numbers, health, density and for devil the number of individuals that have got or has succumbed to devil facial tumor disease. It's a real interesting part of a job and I therefore spend a fair bit of time in the bush through this area. Absolutely magnificent part of the state. Any number of different tracks to explore. I've done a couple of videos through this area on the dual sport, Lake Lee and the Yak and Dander Hut video. And if you guys like, you could check out. But this is the first time I've done a vlog 
on the actual rink road itself. A couple of significant tracks through there that I've always meant to explore. So I have to get up the farm and bring the dual sport down this way. I'm going to cross over Black Bluff shortly. Black Bluff marks the division between Western Tasmania and Eastern Tasmania. So on this side of the hill, western side, mostly button grass which is a fairly unproductive grassland and so they never really grazed stock in this area in western Tasmania and even the native animals like eastern quoll they're literally not found this side of Black Bluff about a thousand meters in height here and this is East Tasmania, Bar Le Belvoir so Eastern Quiles are found through here but not on that side because it's different grass and so this area here historically has been grazed That mountain there, that's Cradle Mountain, that's Bar Bluff, and that sort of marks the northern end of the Cradle Mountain. Lake St. Clair, World Heritage Area, and this is the Vale of Belvoir Conservation Area, and this is where I do a lot of that research work. epic glacial U valley just an amazing landscape it's another bizarre river on that side it flows that way and on that side it flows that way to be careful of animals no matter where you are in Tasmania even though it's broad daylight I'll allow the question to come around the corner and there's native animals there's a Bennett's wallaby just on the side of the road there in saying that so just got to be awfully careful Tasmania's rich in wildlife game. Always cautious when you ride in this area.
because this is such an iconic area. Lots of tourist traffic. There's several resorts up here to cater for the 300, 350,000 people that they estimate that come to this area every year. So right, right at the end of the tourist season at this time of year, so it certainly won't be particularly crowded today. Considering I come this way a couple of times a day, it does feel a bit weird on a motorcycle. There's Cradle Mountain right there. Hi. Alakazam. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get over that. You reckon? Is it meant to open or what's, what's the go? Yeah, it's meant to, but it says, like, it's high volume. I thought and it'd lift, I thought at this time of day there wouldn't be much traffic. Oh. Thanks mate! Beautiful spot. This is Crater Mountain. So Crater Mountain is very much the gateway to the wilderness of Tasmania. And Crater Mountain Lakes of Clare National Park itself is about 1.6 million hectares. But it sort of corridors into a whole bunch of other parks and reserves and all up you're sort of getting up over two million hectares of world heritage area considering there's only 240 sorry considering there's only 640 world heritage areas in the world 12 of those are on the island of Tasmania real disproportionate amount of world heritage area and you can bloody see why look how spectacular it is so shuttle buses run the volume of traffic in and out This road is very narrow and very easily uh, chokes up with traffic. Very limited parking. So they run a shuttle bus service to get the bulk of visitors in and out. The Snake Hill, there's a bus station there. It's about seven kilometres from the visitor centre to Dove Lake. So there is a walking track all the way up. And you can do sections of it and grab the shuttle bus in between. Look at this gorgeous scenery. Glaciated peaks, new valleys. This couldn't be more spectacular if it tried. This is Ronnie's Creek.
spectacular. There's no work up here. And I see it every day, but it never ceases to amaze me just how incredibly spectacular parts of this island are. So lucky to live and work here. Coming into Dove Lake Car Park. <laughs> I know. And this is where you were. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> wow. That's unbelievable. See in the middle of nowhere, old mate still tried to knock me off. Who's that? The guy in the full drive, oh, bloody. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. This is Cradle Mountain. Dove Lake, Jump Rock or Glacier Rock. Uh, so that's that's Cradle Mountain. That's Little Horn, Marin's Lookout. That is spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a hike. Can you actually get up there? Mhm. Mm it's about a six-hour walk. Six hours, eh? So it's a little bit late in the day to tackle it now, but yeah, you can. Oh, I ain't gonna do that. Don't you worry. Yeah. It's uh, in there. That's Crater Lake up there. Right. It was like a caldera that blew out. Yeah. yeah. yeah right. So this, it was all volcanic and then glacially sort of moulded. Okay, yeah. Walked out of the lake. Hey? Walked down to the lake. Yeah, dude. Yeah, let me just grab my uh, seat. So I'm here for Fat Cruiser's epic whirlwind Tassie tour. Yeah. And that's about as epic as you're gonna get. Pretty much. I think it's a photo op. Absolutely. Get in there, Fat Cruiser. Hang on, let me put this away. Let me screw this up. Sorry, I'm very particular. Particular. Bit of a princess. <laughs> that is. Epic. Epic. Yeah, look at that for hours. Yep. Isn't it? It's awesome. And Cradle Mountain because yep. it's a cradle. So, yeah, supposedly, like, cradle head, yep. the baby's head, the blanket, yep. the gr back of the cradle. Yep. There's another theory that it was called Cradle Mountain because this looks like the cradle that they used to pan gold in. Ah, okay. So... Yep. I don't know which one it is. My personal thought is the baby and the cradle. Yeah, I don't like the gold one. Nah, it's it's too specific. Yeah. <sighs> so my name's I Ride Taz. That's the Fat Cruiser. That's Cradle Mountain. That is definitely Cradle Mountain. It puts the epic in epic whirlwind tour. Absolutely. This is the most amazing thing I have seen so far on my trip. And yeah. And it's not even day one. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of a, a little bit sad to uh, to keep moving because I, I could I could watch that for hours. Yeah, particularly at sunset. But I don't know if I want to tackle the wildlife on the way home in the dark. Probably not a good idea. No. <laughs> yeah. Had we thought, planned it better, we could have come up in the car and well, photographed it at night. I, I, the ride in has been amazing. Yeah. And the view has been... Unbelievable. So there's a uh, wildlife park up in this area that specialises in devils. Yep. So I thought we'd go check that out. Let's do that. Yeah. Awesome, dude. <laughs>